Well, good morning in that. Or well, good afternoon. Or good evening. Whatever and whenever you're seeing this video. It's once again time for Walking and Talking Tuesday with me, Celine Driver. Yes, it's that time of the week again for another Walking and Talking video where I walk and I talk and you listen. I assume. Well, let's see. Beautiful day once again in Central Florida. About 70 degrees. No fog today, as you can see. Yes, I'm walking in the street once again because that's what I do. Using the Battle Angel Memorial selfie stick because, again, that's what I do. Hoping not to get run over by anybody <laughs> because that's what I do too. Uh, a couple updates, real quick. As I know some people are concerned. Um, my father is uh, better. Still have a long road ahead for recovery. But uh, he is healing. <clears throat> uh, he saw the doctor yesterday. And uh, all is progressing as well as can be expected from a man of his age. Uh, so we're hopeful that things will keep progressing in a positive manner. Uh, also, uh, BVD, our friend Keith, Big Ball Daddy, BVD did upload a uh, recent video, a new video, a couple days ago from when I'm shooting this, and he updated uh, us from his hospital bed. That statement in and of itself should tell you that things are not great. Uh, I haven't heard from him since. Uh, I did text him. He did text me back. He, he told me a few things. Um, uh, if you're a thoughts and prayers person, I would uh, suggest that. If you're a thoughts and thoughts person, I would suggest that too. Um, He's, uh, he's not in a good place, but I believe he's going to keep fighting. He's not going to give up on us. Uh, our community is stronger with him than without him. So my thoughts and prayers go out to my friend Keith. Uh, that's for all I know. But on to today's topic. Last week, uh, I talked about... Um, holiday, specifically holiday depression and general depression. And, you know, that's, that's a downer. You know, come on. So, I wanted to come up with a topic today that uh, would be more uh, upbeat, more fun. Maybe get a little audience participation down there in the comments section. Uh, what was your favorite holiday gift or gift for your birthday or whatever um what was your favorite holiday gift or if conversely you want to tell us what your funniest holiday gift or gift was or your your the worst gift you ever got or whatever um you know put that down in the comments because I think that's a that's an interesting time. I'm sure we've all gotten um, <laughs> some weird gifts in our time, some some real uh, some real bad ones. Uh, you know, some ones that we're wondering. You know, you get them and it's like, oh, that's nice. Y you know, that kind of reaction. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> You know, I'm sure we all had that crazy uncle or aunt or somebody who gave you on uh, Christmas or, or Hanukkah or for your birthday or whatever uh, a pair of socks or multiple pairs of socks. That happened to me, you know. I, I ended up with some really interesting uh, 
uh, tube socks, if anybody's old enough to remember tube socks, um, <laughs> uh, from, from an aunt. Um, that kind of shows not a hell of a lot of imagination, uh, in my humble opinion, but, you know, it happens. You, know, you, you just kind of roll with it. Um, I'm sure you've gotten, you know, like, uh, I remember one time, it wasn't a bad gift, it just like, it was a gift like, really, you think I'm this kind of person? Uh, somebody gave me a big old workbook full of crossword puzzles. <laughs> I'm not a crossword puzzle guy. I really not. I don't have the I don't have the patience for it. <clears throat> I don't have the mentality for it. I don't have the desire to play with it. And I figure I'll live about ten years longer not um, playing around with uh, crossword puzzles. The drainage construction that they're doing around here is not doing me any favors right now in terms of not being hit by a car. <laughs> you might see these orange cones. Get my head out of the way. They're redoing sections of our, you know, alongside the road drainage and uh, it's screwing up traffic a bit. Um, but for me, for me, I mean, if we're talking about material gifts, uh, you know, like, probably the best gift I ever got was, um, <clears throat> and it, this will be kind of obvious, I guess, if you watch my channel, but the, probably the, one of the best gifts I ever got material-wise was, uh, was a watch. Um, it was, uh. It was uh, in March of this year, actually. It was, um, it was a watch. It was uh, a Patek Philippe uh, 6000G uh, Calatrava. Uh, beautiful. I've done a video on it on my channel, if you're at all curious, and probably you aren't. Uh, but it's a beautiful watch. And... Uh, that was the, uh, that, that was probably one of the best gifts I ever got. Um, probably one of the best gifts I ever got overall, and this will sound corny and maybe a bit maudlin, um, were my children. Uh, I'm very proud of my daughters, I really am. Uh, as I as I record this, my older daughter is about ready to have her master's degree graduation ceremony at the University of Florida. And she's already been hired by our school district to be a full-time teacher. She's not, technically not even graduated yet. She is a full-time teacher. And they were crazy eager to hire her. Uh, so I'm very proud of her. My younger daughter... Uh, she's still in school. She's doing really well now that she's gotten through all the math classes and the preliminary bullshit classes. Uh, her grade point average has taken off. She's uh, much happier. Uh, she's making friends at her new at at, uh, at her school and uh, in her situation, and uh, she's beginning to grow and uh, and, and uh, learn more about you know living life. These are the two greatest gifts I've ever gotten. And, uh, hell, you know, I got, I got one person to thank for that, and that's my uh, now ex-wife, who will never see this video. Uh, she has no interest in my life or me, but uh, I got to thank her for that. Best gift I ever got. I know that sounds corny. I know that sounds, you know... You know, that's a typical answer, Celine. Come on, you can do better than that. No, I can't. My children are the greatest gifts I've ever received in my life. <clears throat> you know, and, and the gift of uh, being able to wake up every morning and uh, see you guys, talk to you guys. And the gift of uh, the friendship that you guys on my channel and in the uh, College Football Trash Talk community 
and in the watch community. You know, these are great gifts as well. But that's what I have for that uh, this holiday season. I just kind of thought, you know, hey, why not talk about, you know, the best gifts you ever got. Uh, that that's pretty much sums up for me. Anyway, I'm going to finish my walk. As this SUV doesn't slam me. You really looked like you wanted to kill me there, sweetheart. Fucking idiots. Anyway, uh, this is uh, let's see. I got one more video to make and we'll walk and talk before Christmas, so I'll wait for that one. So this is your boy, Celine Driver. I'll catch ya later, later.